Hello everyone, my name is Kim and you're at Kim's Cozy Corner. I am gonna bounce around my kitchen and my garden and just my property and get some things done today. One of the first things that I'm gonna to do today is do some canning. I am gonna can some green beans. I already have my beans heating up because I like them to be more pliable when I put them in the jar and I don't have many, but I got a few green beans going here. I already have the pressure canner warming my jars and I'm just gonna bounce around and do some stuff in the kitchen and then we're gonna have to go outside and we gotta finish harvesting. We just got a lot to do and I'm bringing you with me. I like that vinegar taste in my beans. So I'm getting the ingredients out. And yes, I am using apple cider vinegar because I prefer apple cider vinegar. I do usually use distilled vinegar if I have it, but since I don't have it, we will be using apple cider vinegar, which will give the beans a, um, more of a, a tinted color versus it being nice and clear in the jar. It's going to have a little, if you want to say brownish or golden tint to it. Get the drip turned on. Um, a teaspoon of salt in all of my containers. And for sugar, it's probably like a half a teaspoon. I didn't really measure it. I'm going to put my vinegar in last because I might not use all the jars. We will get these filled up. These are green beans. They will process for 25 minutes. I forgot what I put in there. I hope I put 25 minutes in there. You don't have to pre-cook your beans before you can them. I just like to do it because I can get more in the jar. That's why I do it. I don't like my beans floating in the jar. So basically we're gonna fill our jars up, leaving an inch of head space. So just under the rim, looks like I'm gonna be a little short on liquid. And so all I need is hot water. So I'll turn the coffee pot on for that extra liquid that I need. I don't know. I don't know, I might have enough. I gotta get the air bubbles out. This is a step you really do need to take. So I have just enough liquid looks like, cause I have a, just a teeny bit left in the pot. I had too much in this jar. All I need to add now is my vinegar. Again, you don't need to add vinegar to your beans. It's just something I like to do. This is the way my family likes our beans. I always wipe my rims. Finger tight. This is the Presto digital canner. That's what I like to use. The link to all the products that I like to use are going to be in the description below. All right. My last step until I uh, put the uh, weight on it. I don't have the best water pressure, so I have to water my raised beds first, and then I can come back and water my containers. I will be fertilizing today. 
pretty much everything. The green stalk vertical planters, the raised beds, everything. But I like to water first and I don't know, wait 30 minutes, an hour, just wait for a period of time and then come back and uh, do the fertilizing. Got a flower. How did my flower? It broke from there. Okay. One of my petunias broke off. I was trying to see what happened. I mean, I'm like, do we have new pests in the garden? I hope not. I've had my share of pests this year. I don't want any more. I will be adding about um, two gallons of a very dilute liquid fertilizer to all of my green stalk vertical planters. I think I have I think what I'll be using today is Grow Big from Fox Farm. I think I'm gonna finish watering and then we're gonna move on to something else. Now y'all, I started this video two days ago and it was supposed to be a day in the life of, of Kim at Kim's Cozy Corner. And I started videoing and I started canning and I started watering and I had an unexpected visitor stop by my house and I haven't picked up the camera since. So it is several days later that I am putting all of this together into one video so I can show you everything that I'm doing today. So the first half of this video stopped with me watering the plants. So I never got a chance to do any of the fertilizing or anything else in the garden because when you got family visiting, you need to spend time with family. And now that they're gone, and I'm done working. We're going to spend some time out in the garden and finish picking some of those things that I desperately needed to pick. So let's go over there and pick those things first. Okay, it's late in the day, y'all. It's very late in the day. But these beans are huge and they need to be picked. The more you pick your beans, the more they will grow. So I need to do some picking. I had such a hard time getting beans to begin with. I don't want to lose them now just because I don't pick them. Now that wouldn't be the thing to do now, would it? <laughs> and these beans are doing amazing. I like to say amazing, but I kind of say it in jest, but they really are doing amazing. My mom had the weed eater out here. I have to be careful because she probably cut some of my plants but it, they look okay so yeah the video was only supposed to be about a day in the life and now we're up to almost a week in the life <laughs> but I'm going to get these beans picked I'm going to show you the final haul and the final weights at the end of the video but we're going to start by picking these beans and don't they look good y'all I mean I am growing beans in let's see this bed is three, I think it's three and a half feet wide, the bed is. And I am growing in the first six inches of the bed. That's it, the first six inches, three and a half feet wide, about six, it's not even eight inches of the bed. And y'all are gonna see an amazing amount of beans here in just a minute. So let me get them picked and I will share with you the final harvest. So all of the beans came off of like three plants here in the front. Back here, I have a ton of blooms, but not a ton of beans. But these beans are beautiful. And I have other beans to pick. But these are our Roma 2 beans. Now we're gonna go over here and pick some more beans. You'll get to see them all, I promise. So we got dragon tongue beans back here. That's what we're picking next. Should have picked these a couple days ago. Now my beans have a lot of cucumber beetles on them, but they're not being eaten by the cucumber beetles. But they're definitely hanging out there on them. And I really hate picking vegetables late in the day because those mosquitoes, y'all, they be trying to eat me. 
I don't like mosquitoes eating me alive. So I like to walk through my garden in the evenings, but I don't like to harvest in the evenings. That's one of the reasons why we got to do this quickly. And I do mean quickly. Ooh, I didn't see all of these. So now we're going to move down to the pole beans. I'm so happy to be getting pole beans. Now I'm a little short to be getting pole beans, apparently. Get off of there. So there are my beans. Not many, but there are still beans. That's still more than enough. Look at that. Look at those beans. Now, I saw a tomato, too. It's a really nice orange jazz. I'm kind of at a lull on my tomatoes. They are slowed down. I've picked quite a few of the red ones. So they're slowing down just a little bit for me, which is great because there's so many other things coming in right now. Another tomato here. Mm -hmm. And strawberries. Yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Look at that strawberry check that strawberry out i gotta do a quality check on the strawberries to make sure that they're not poisonous mm -hmm. oh that's sweet mm, 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 mm. strawberries are coming in y'all now there's a ton of tomatoes over there i wasn't really planning on picking tomatoes today so let's not get those I got a couple for fresh eating. That'll just have to do. The other vegetable that I was supposed to pick was broccoli. And so I have to get the broccoli. It has started flowering in so many places. And I don't want the broccoli to stop. So there's some of the broccoli. And we will keep picking the broccoli. Yes, same broccoli that was planted back in late March, early April. That's what we are harvesting now. I will show you when I get it all harvested. No, I said I wasn't picking tomatoes. I'm over here picking tomatoes, y'all. I was supposed to be picking broccoli. Y'all, I picked tomatoes, not broccoli. But you got to pick what's ripe. Cucumbers will be ready soon. Okay. Here's a basket full of stuff, y'all. Some tomatoes. Some broccoli. In the bottom, we got some beans. And now, and now, did I miss some? I missed some. I'm going to pick some more broccoli and some more beans. Now, we're going to go do those potatoes. All right, the last thing that we're going to harvest are these potatoes right here. So let me just get them emptied out. Now, they are soaked. They are soggy wet. This is a second planting. Uh, I don't know what it is, to be honest with you. I don't have a clue. But, and I don't think there's any potatoes in here either. I mean, they died back before I ever got potatoes. And they're super wet. They sure do sound like a potato hit. So this is a russet potato here. That's got to be from last year's supply because I didn't grow russet this year. But I know I brought some in from last year's supply. And russets never grow well in my garden. Never do. That's why I stopped growing them. But there's a few in here. Now, this isn't a russet. This is, hmm, it looks like a Yukon Gold. That's what it looks like but they're small, whatever they are. 
They weren't happy at all the whole time. And these are from last year's supply. So let's get this cleaned up and get the one other bag out. My plastic pots never do as well as my other containers. So no surprise there. I'm surprised there's any potatoes in here. Yeah, I didn't expect these to go well. That's why I tied them in with another garden harvest because I'm not expecting these to do very well. So here's the first harvest. It might weigh 0. 0.25 pounds. <laughs> there's not much in here, not much at all. And they're so wet. They're extremely wet, extremely small, extremely undersized, all of those things. All right, here's our weight. 0.39, it's a little of nothing, 0.39 on there, but we will eat these nonetheless. And now we'll get to this other container and we will call it a day, y'all, because I really don't have time to do this right now, but we're gonna get this last container done. Now, this is one of my grow bags, so we should do a little better since it's a grow bag. Now, this is a masquerade. It's a really nice potato. And hopefully we can get a couple out of this bag if nothing else. And there's a couple on top, so that's a good thing. This bag came from my west side of the house. This bag was planted in May. This bag has been going for 90 days, three months. I only had three potatoes. I think I had a fourth one over here, but it didn't come up. So we only have three potatoes in this bag and lots of roly polioles. Sit the basket right here. So there's a lot on top. So let's pull these out first. Oh, wow, this one's starting to get eyes on it. I left this in here too long. So these good potatoes are getting eyes on it. They're ready to be replanted. In other words, they're ready for us to eat because we won't be replanting any more tomato or potatoes this year. Oh, wow, there's a bunch of them on top. There's another. I consider this like a medium sized potato. And more on top. Wow, I didn't know they grew this close to the top. They didn't grow very deep. Well, I got more than one. I've already done better than I did in the other bag altogether. <laughs> okay, there's another one on top. So these were just on top. All of these were on top. So let's get it turned over and see if we can find any inside the bag. Ooh, spider! Roly poly! Where did it go? Oh, there's that spider. Go away. All right, spider's gone. All right, let's see what we got. Potatoes on the side of the house, I did not water very well. I didn't water very well at all, but I know we got a few potatoes. A few. A few more. Now this is not a masquerade. This isn't. That is not a masquerade. I don't know what that is, but it's something that I had. <laughs> But there are masquerades in there too. Now that's a masquerade. Yeah, I think all of these are masquerades. Um, 
Some of them just have more of that purple on them than others. I thought maybe it was something else, but I think they're all masquerade because I would have put multiple tags in it if it was. So this is what I got out of the masquerade. I believe there were three seed potatoes that took. And out of three seed potatoes, these are the potatoes we got from a bag that didn't get watered very well. Let's weigh our potatoes. Here's a good looking masquerade. It looks kind of like a, a pinto, purples and whites on it. And I believe all of these are masquerades. Some of them just didn't get as nice and colorful as the others, but I believe they're all masquerades. I have one more container of masquerades for another day, not for today. 1.96 pounds, 1.96. So two pounds, three seed potatoes and two pounds. So this video was supposed to be all about a day in the life of Kim. So you got to see some of my morning chores on a Sunday morning, but that's all you got to see. But now I'm out here and I'm showing you a little bit of harvesting and we'll just have to make another video on um, watering and fertilizing and some of those other things because the time just got away from me. But we did end with a few potatoes and a lot more vegetables than I really wanted to pick. But tomatoes and beans and broccoli are all in here. So now that we got the harvest picked, here are all the weights of this very small harvest that I picked today. And it was a very quick harvest too. When you think about the number of tomatoes and there's quite a few pounds in here of tomatoes and the beans and the broccoli. The broccoli and the beans are all I really wanted today. And a few potatoes. So that's it. I'm just showing you what I'm doing and I'm sorry it's all discombobulated today, but this is where we are. And this is what we got to do when your schedule kind of gets out of control. So I hope you liked the video. If you did, as always, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Until next time, and I hope there will be a next time that you hang out with me, Kim, at Kim's Cozy Corner. Bye.